Now, on deck with me is Michelle Gellings, and uh, we are here, and w- with Etzella, and we are here. How you can help in the Haiti earthquake relief effort. And, uh, of course, the earthquake was back in January, but Michelle is here to tell you how you can help Saturday and Sunday in Sheboygan um, because you really need a lot of stuff. Don't you, Michelle? Tell us about it. Yes, we do. Um, we're looking for all different types of donations. We are looking for tools, sleeping bags, air mattresses, uh, kitchen plates, cups, bowls, school supplies. The children don't have school supplies anymore. Um, another really useful thing would be containers of any size. Um, shoes. Many people don't have shoes. If you're thinking that you might not have any of these things in your house or in your budget, making a card for the children to receive or little beanie babies, beanie babies or a bag of candy. Many of them are suffering from um, hunger and just to have a little bit of sucking candy to get over their their appetite would be wonderful and you can find all of that on the hecmission.org website and find links of how you can get make some handmade cards and get them to the kids and um, I will be leaving in a week and taping all the things getting there and all the distribution and we're just really excited eight to five yeah where is this going to be in Sheboygan where's the semi going to be um on the corner of Calumet and North it's okay. a vacant lot there used to be a Burger King and an Amber's restaurant there mm-hmm. Conway Trucking has graciously provided all the the semi needs we're going to pack it there you can come right on site we need packers sorters missionaries just come bring your things and and bless the people of Haiti and and the actual location is is just outside of Port-au-Prince isn't it Yes, it's 23 miles outside of Port-au-Prince. So these people really desperately need it. They do, and all the people that have been evacuated out of Port-au-Prince, the the city of 50,000, about the size of Sheboygan, has doubled in size. Unbelievable. It's L.I., I understand you were there uh, in February, right? Yes, sir. Did you see the need? Yes, sir. We were there to serve uh, the health care of the poorest of the poor in in our country out there. So um, as a medical missionary, I went there to help, you know, assist in medical in the medical field. So. Did it shock you what you saw? There were a lot of uh, very sad stories, you know, as far as uh, the situation that's going on in Haiti right now. And um, they still need missionaries to go there, medical personnel to go there and assist with uh, the work that needs to be done there. Uh, the work that's in Haiti right now is going to be long term. Yeah, it's yeah. it's and that's very very true that you say that. I mean, it happened in January. Then we had the chilly earthquake. And sometimes you forget about the tremendous need that still mm-hmm. uh, and will be continued, uh, the need in Haiti. So Absolutely. now is the time to make uh, your donation, at least on Saturday and Sunday, in Sheboygan. More information on our website, fox11online.com. Michelle, Lucilla, thank you very much for joining thank us. You. And thank hopefully you. you'll have a, a semi-loaded with all this stuff to, to get to Haiti very soon. You're watching Good Day, Wisconsin. We'll be right back.